Secret's mission is privacy for Web3. But what separates the projects that make it from those that don't is the ability to evolve in their approach to their mission. The strategies and solutions for executing on a, a mission should evolve with an environment. So Secret is now adding to this privacy toolbox for builders though. Secret 2.0 is the vision for a constellation of privacy chains that would include more privacy solutions in addition to these trusted execution environments. And here's really the core thesis around that is that everyone needs privacy, but privacy solutions aren't one size fits all. There's never just one variable to solve for because every variable you level up impacts something else. Let's say you're in the market for a new car. How about a rare and sporty McLaren? That's gonna be great for speed on the highways, but you won't be doing donuts with that off-road. If you do want to go off-roading, driving in the forest, buy an SUV with special mud tires. What Secret is doing with this constellation of privacy solutions is giving users and builders multiple options that accommodate the specifics of their use case. So it's a lot like a garage with a McLaren, an SUV, a luxury sedan, and maybe a tank in there too. Which one do you want to drive on a given day? Well, it depends on your use case. It depends on what you need at the moment. Hopefully that's a helpful analogy, but we need to change it a bit because the actual vision for this constellation of privacy solutions is actually a bit better than that analogy. You couldn't drive two cars at once, but part of the vision for 2.0 is to have multiple privacy solutions working in tandem. For example, someone might build an application on Secret that leverages trusted execution environments and multi-party computation, or trusted execution environments and homomorphic encryption on top of each other. Imagine this, you have some private data that you want to take care of in the real world, so you put it behind a vault door that looks like something from Ocean's Eleven. So you lock it behind that door, and then you have an army of eight giant robots that are programmed to bounce non-credentialed intruders as they walk up to the door if they aren't supposed to be there. The door would kind of be like a trusted execution environment, very roughly, very roughly. And then this army of robots uh, that's working together, maybe that's kind of like multi-party computation. Multi-party computation with threshold decryption means that unless all of the parties uh, sign off or agree, then the data doesn't get decrypted. Right. So uh, it's security on top of security, a privacy solution coupled with the power of another privacy solution. And this is really the ultimate blank canvas for builders. It's also incredible freedom for users as they get to choose what solutions and, and privacy strategies might be best for their data or their unique use cases. If you want to dig into this more deeply, there's a great summary of the conversation happening in real time on the forum post on forum.scrt.network. Uh, just search when you get their search secret 2.0 and you can see Guy Ziskin's original post and the what is possibly now hundreds of comments from the community just interacting with that. If you head to that forum post, you'll see that alongside secret as it currently exists now, we're talking about things like an FHE layer one fully homomorphic encryption, uh, consumer chains that are utilizing privacy as a service, privacy preserving rollups to complement that FHE. So that's just a snapshot of the conversation happening right now around Secret 2.0. Encourage you to check it out. And if you're listening to this video before December 15th, 2022, then you still have time to sign up for Secret Summit. So visit scrt.network backslash summit, learn more about 2.0, and hear from some of the greatest minds across Cosmos and beyond talking about the future of Secret and Web3 privacy. Thanks for watching, thanks for learning, and we will catch you next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.